All right, we're live, everybody. Live on my channel. What is going on? What is going on? Hey we're guys. back. We're back. You couldn't chase us off with all your with all your lewd comments about Zesty <laughs> last week. Stop I was actually it. Zesty. I was actually a little offended that I didn't get any lewd comments last week. I, you know, I've been, <laughs> you know, I ride my bike all the time. I work out a little. I figure, I figure, you know, every once in a while, just someone would throw me a bone. But no, it was all. It was all about Zesty. <laughs> all about Zesty last week. Like, look how handsome that son of a gun is. Oh, man. I know. <laughs> I know. Sometimes sometimes it's, it hurts to be so pretty, right, Zesty? Just a little. Just a little. Every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so who all is rolling around out there? I know Socrates, the cab driver, has been here since, like, an hour before the show started. Like, Socrates, as soon as I put the link up, Socrates is in here throwing the cab, at, throwing the cab signs out, waving at everybody. He beat support- me here, actually. Like- yeah, yeah. So like he's like he's dedicated to the game. Socrates, the cab driver. So he's a hell of a guy too. Hell of a guy. Oh, yeah. I've, I've gotten to chat with him some. <laughs> Cracks me up. Uh, Jay Jerry, what's up, Jay Jerry? Uh, Mark Senior's here. What's up, Mark Senior? Wayne Nixon. Uh, Timekeepers here. Uh oh, the chat started moving. DTF, DTF, DTF. <laughs> Daytime Frank's here. Uh, Ronald McMillan, Karen Presley. What's up, Karen? How you doing, girl? Uh, Keith Black. Black Keith is in the house, everybody. He's a heck of a... He's another, he's another big supporter. He's a great guy. Uh, Alfred Pudding. What's up, Alfred Pudding? Marilyn's here. Shindo! The Shindog's in the house. What's up, Shindo? What's going on, Shindo? Zippy! What's up, Zippy? Got to hang out with her on Saturday on a DIY show over on the uh, DIY Down Under channel. Speaking of DIY Down Under, hi, Pippa. Uh, Ronald McMillan. Hi, Ronald. Russell Vapes. What's up, Russell? Uh, Jason Morgan. There we go. See, someone's throwing me a bone, but I have to. I have to whine and complain about it, Zesty. Finally, <laughs> so finally, someone's giving me some love. It's Jason Morgan. It's not who. I, it's not who I was hoping for, but I'll take it. I'll take it where I can get it, man. Uh, Lewis Knight. What's up, Lewis? How you doing, man? Uh, Randall Hayes. Jason Murray. What's up, Jason? Joey, Joey's always here. Great guy. Oh yeah. Uh, Shindo said, uh, "Oh shit, Brian got a tan. He loves you, Zesty." <laughs> I just caught on to that too. I should be, I should be offended, but I'm not. I'm not gonna be offended. Today. I mean, I mean, it's Shindo, so I mean. Yeah, I was like, eh. if you've ever been on a show with him, it's just a stream, of, a stream of ex- expletives and offensive material. So pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's why we love him, though. That's why we love our Shindo. Um, Let's see here. Who else rocking around out there? Zippy's throwing hearts. Throw a heart back at Zippy. Zippy's good peeps. Uh, Wade Buckley. What's up, Wade Buckley? Anybody I missed? This is your chance for shout-outs before we start rambling. We're good at rambling, Thank me and Zesty. <laughs> All day. <laughs> is Tam here? What's up, Tam? Yeah. Uh, Lori. Lori's here. What's up, Lori? Robert Kite is here. What's up, Robert? Just watching your last night show. Nice. Friction. Friction. His two dads. I would adopt Friction. He seems like good people. I like it. Like Zesty between the two of us. I don't think we'd have to go pick him up from the from the police station. Like it nah. like it'd be cool. He'd be he'd be home by curfew. You know, every once in a while he sneaks a girl into the place, but I'm totally cool with it with Friction sneaking a girl into the place. Just keep it down. Just keep it down a little bit. You're fine. Uh, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. I thought I'd said hi to you. Oh, there he is. Adam Polarczyk. What's up, Adam Polarczyk? I don't think I said hi to Adam. If you guys haven't ever gotten to see Adam, um, uh, oh, what's the name of your, what's the name of your band, Adam? And how come you don't have a wrench on my channel? Adam should have a wrench. He's a good guy. I like that Adam Polarczyk. I'm, I actually do a show with him on Wednesday nights over on uh, nice. Golf T Vapes Golf T Vapes channel nice. way past your bedtime Zesty way past your bedtime <laughs> that show starts that show starts at like 10:30 p.m. your time oh yeah i'm already asleep i'm already asleep <laughs> so you know if that show was if that show wasn't going on i would be asleep like halfway through where the show where the show is like as soon as it's over i'm like mm-hmm. i grab like a hot pocket and just mow it down and then i'm just gone for the rest of the night right there <laughs> and i, and I regret and i wake up the next morning just regretting every every ounce of that hot pocket <laughs> Just crumbs everywhere. It just uh. yep. The cat's sitting there licking pizza sauce off my face. I'm like, is it healthy for you? Get out of here! Shoot! No, no, no. She's doing something like that. You don't stop her. It's rare that she shows affection, Zesty. 
<laughs> you gotta leave like you gotta leave like some bacon crumbs out, and then she'll come and like sit on your shoulder for a sec to eat bacon crumbs, and then she's gone again. <laughs> What's up, Bigfoot? Hey, come back here. <laughs> hey, come back, Katie. I just want to love you. Why can't I love you? <laughs> what the mess? Leilani's Leilani. in the house. My girl, Leilani. Leilani, I I was looking back at messages, and we skipped the show that you said that you were gonna be on. We need to get you back on a show, Leilani. So message me. Let me know when would be a good time. Uh, I can't do this Saturday because I'm going to be out camping. So I know Zesty's got Zesty has killer T-shirts. Keith Black, you didn't know that. <laughs> Zesty just he kills the T-shirt game. I see Superman, the Flash, Green Lantern is the bottom one. Batman. Yep, there we go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Better be a big ass Wonder Woman logo on the back though. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> ML Nikon, how you doing? What's up, Emily? How you doing, girl? I still won't ever forgive you. She called me a midget, Zesty. She's shorter than I, mean, I am. I mean, is it? I mean, she is kind of. I mean, uh, you met me in person, uh, Zesty. It's not your fault. You're six foot eight. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm not that tall, but it's, it's close. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leilani. Because I love, I loves me some Leilani. Uh, so let's get into what the, the let's get into the topic tonight. And I I may have bitten off yes. more than I can chew, Zesty. To be honest here, um, <laughs> going and look going and looking at at uh, the fact that the there are no absolutely zero flavor notes available on the internet for the flavor that I grabbed that I've had set aside <laughs> for a little bit. It, it this could be painful for me. So you guys may get to watch Fresh O Three suffer suffer horribly. Um, so what we're talking about today is um, what to do when you get a new flavor in. Uh, so you've got a couple options, uh, especially those new folks. If you've been DIYing for a little bit, um, a lot of folks tend to uh, skip flavor, skip single flavor testing unless it's kind of a high profile flavor. They just want to know how it works. Um, and so what they'll do is they'll sub it out in a recipe that they're familiar with. If, you're, if you've been DIYing for a little bit, generally that's what I do, Zesty, is I will mix something up with with something I'm familiar with and then that'll mm-hmm. give me how it plays with the other flavors that I'm familiar with and then I'll have an idea on what the flavor's capable of. Um, obviously I do that. I do. I usually do something like that all, before I really start spracking my mouth off about a flavor. I like to see it in about three recipes that, yeah, yeah. that, that either boost it or subdue it. You know, I, I, I try and take it a couple different directions before I really before I really, you know, start running my mouth because single flavor testing, knowing what a flavor can do, that's it's nice, but it only tells you half the story because yep, true. a big a big guy that a big flavor that threw me off for a bit was um, Flavor West Blueberry. Flavor West yes. Blueberry Flavor West Blueberry does not play well with other blueberries. Like it wants not to be no. by itself. It wants to be the center of attention and it gets green as fuck for his for his for as uh, as artificial as that blueberry is, that thing went straight perfume, and then it had leaves growing out of the side of it, out of the side of mm. my bottle. I was like, I don't know what the hell just <laughs> happened. Like all I did is I threw I threw like a little bit of like blueberry wild and a little bit of extra, and, and then I went back and retested it, and I was like, okay, okay, flavor West blueberry, you've got me. What did I do wrong? Was it the was it the wild? Did the wild emphasize too much? And I took the wild out, and I just kept the extra. And it did the exact same thing with extra. Mm. So flavor. <laughs> so like I said, you can you can single flavor test all you want, but it doesn't tell you exactly what a flavor is going to do. And that's why I tend to not do it all that much, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, well, um, so what's wh- when you get a new flavor in Zesty? Generally, like what sort of direction do you try and take your flavors? Uh, well, you pretty much covered it. Pretty much, it. if I get like a new flavor, and let's just use like uh, Gigi strawberry for example. If I have yeah. a strawberry recipe that I really, really like, I would probably drop one of the strawberries out and then substitute my new flavor in at a percent that I think would be really, really nice. I'll let it steep for however I usually let my normal juice steep in and then I'll test it and then I'll write notes and then and then I'll go and see, uh, solo test it. That's pretty much how I go about whenever I get a new flavor in. Yeah. Addie Tooney came in, you can see you can see by all the uh, all the emojis. Love you, Addie Tooney. <laughs> my brother hey, from another mother right there. Like everybody just got, everybody just starts throwing throwing emojis at him. He just comes in with Addy, the Addy, Addy, Addy. 
<laughs> exactly. Addy Tooney just says, hi, everybody, and then just swipes his hand across the emoji screen. <laughs> <laughs> and then it gets everybody else going, right, right, Friction? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, the emojis. What's up, Robert Cromwell? So, um... I thought I thought uh, grabbing a flavor that I'm unfamiliar with and the single flavor testing on this will probably take most of the episode I'm gonna say um, mm. just because I'm complete there's nothing on this flavor there's absolutely nothing. nothing out there on this flavor it smells interesting the knuckle test I did where I, I put a drop on my knuckle and I run it across my entire palate on my tongue I stick my tongue out as far as I can zesty just ah <laughs> and I just go all the way across. I almost hit the bottom of my beard there. So, Jeez. <laughs> yeah, um, and that's what I do. That's how. That's how, I'll do a quick knuckle test, and that, generally that's going to give you an idea of what the flavor is going to be like. And this yeah, gave yeah. It, this gave me kind of like a steel cut oatmeal with a, with a hint of dairy to it, and that's what it gave me off the knuckle. That's exactly what I'm hoping. That's exactly what I'm hoping that this is. Mm -hmm. This is for everybody that isn't aware of what the flavor I'm going to be experimenting on. And I will put something up on ELR before the show's over. It is Flavor Express Oatmeal and Milk. So I'm hoping that this tastes exactly exactly like that knuckle test, but that can be deceiving too. It can be. Yeah. Can be very deceiving. So that's that's the single flavor that I'm gonna do. And because there are no notes, I'm going into it blind. Based on what I know about Flavor Express, I'm gonna start it at one percent. And that is that is where I'll that's where I'll move from. I'll either move up or down from it. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix myself up a 10 mil batch at one percent. And I have I just recently got a, a giant bag of these little uh, LDPE uh, 10 mil bottles. I'm very happy about them. I didn't know Which that. I, I did. Uh, right now, you can go to eSig Express and get. Uh, they have a a sale on their clearance items, and these are in the clearance items. Uh, the coupon nice. the coupon code is Flavor Hunter fifty, and you get half off anything that's in the clearance section. So this okay. bought this this hundred dollar this hundred um, bottle bag that I bought only mm -hmm. cost me. Oh, let me get. I dropped it on the floor, and I dropped <laughs> a bunch of other stuff now. As happens when you've got a crowded area. Um, it only cost me about 15 bucks, I want to say, for 100, nice. 110 mil bottles. And being, LD, being LDPE, I know they're going to hold up against anything that I throw in them. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody sent me a message. FYI, Joey's a girl. Thank you. There's lots of gender confusion on the Fresh 3 channel. Yeah, I know, right, Adam Plarzik? It's a really good deal on bottles. Really, really, really good deal. So if anybody's looking to get bottles, it's easy. go over to eSig Express, and the coupon code is FLAVORHUNTER50. And it's in the clearance section. And if you sort by price, all the bottles will come up first because the bottles are only like 30 cents a piece to start with. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to start this at 1%. Being a 10 mil batch, it's easy. Oh, yeah. There's JFM right there. JFM, what up, homie? Let me speaking go ahead. Of which, speaking of which, he hasn't made a video in a long time. Uh, JFM's had a lot going on. Yeah, that is JFM's true. JFM's had that is a true. lot going on. So big shout out to JFM. Once again, with that black eye, son, stay away from my <laughs> yogurt territory. That's all I got to say about that. Now you're getting you, aggressive. Now you know, JFM. Now you know what happens when you try and mix yogurts on my watch. <laughs> go watch. Go ask Wayne from DIY or Die what happened to his yogurt recipe. Got bottomed out by Fresh O3 coming running in, Jeez. running into <laughs> running into ATF and putting him down. Putting him down. Who was that it? territory. That's right. Who was the number one recipe of the day? Wayne Walker from DIY or Die. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Had to flex a little on him, Sesty. It happens. It happens. Every once in a while, Wayne gets big for his britches. Starts venturing into my yogurt territory. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Be a little cocky every now and again. Never that's hurt right. nobody. That's right. King of yogurts, everybody. King of yogurts. There we 
go. So let's go ahead and throw out 0.1 mLs. Like I said, 10 mil batch makes it easy. And it's, it smells absolutely wonderful. It smells terrific. Nice. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping this isn't a Flavor Express lemon. Where if you go if you go like one percent of that, you're like, what the, what did I just do? <laughs> Holy lemon pledge, zesty. I see what you did there. <laughs> That's right. Oh, nice wide, nice wide necks on these LDP bottles too. Sweet. I'm about to pick some of those up when I uh, when I get off the stream. And it looks like it's got a little fill line. Perfect. All right, so got all that aside. Sweet. Let me vape, Ross, vape, vape, Ross, vape, vape, Ross, vape, vape, Ross, vape. That's right. Black Cat's here. What's up, Black Cat? If you guys didn't check out the Friday show with Black Cat, we had a blast. I love that dude to death. Had a blast on the Friday show. Dr. Norm's in the house. Says, happy birthday, Zesty. Happy birthday to the Zesty. <laughs> Your beanie and t-shirt are mighty sweet. <laughs> oh, We're never going to get over that. <laughs> never. Never. It's my gimmick. It's my gimmick. I have gimmicks on how I say ho to, hi to certain people. All right. Get a little, mm. little bit of the, the shoulder massage eye contact going around. I know Emily. Emily is trying to stay as far away from it as she can but Emily get your <laughs> VG bottle run. yeah get your VG bottle we're going over to Black Cat's house Emily we're going to be riding our riding our VG bicycles all over all over Black Cat's back we can even ask Mrs. Black Cat to help out too that way that way we don't have to get like super super like sweaty Emily we're, so we're just we're just taking it easy we're just taking it easy on the Black Cat right Emily that's right we'll She's get like, We'll get to where we need to go, Emily. We'll get to where we need to go. Don't worry. Don't worry, girl. That's right. That looks, being a 10 mil batch, that looks pretty thoroughly mixed. We'll give it a little bit more. Mrs. Black Cat's not helping. Darn it. <laughs> What's up, Keegan? How you doing? I think I'm going to solo test this. Uh, I know I said I was going to uh, dabble into these uh, tea flavors. I think I'm going to solo test its red tea. Very nice tea. Very, very nice tea. Pull up my calculator. Uh, Rob, Brian has, a, Brian has about a million projects going on. So it's me and Zesty. Me and Zesty have taken over the show. And we are gonna we are gonna run this thing into the ground. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, me and Zesty are gonna watch this thing go down in flames, and it's gonna be fucking amazing. <laughs> like you're gonna come in here, and we're just gonna be we're just gonna be talking about all sorts of messed up stuff. Heavier on the milk than I expected. Okay. That's heavier on the milk I, than I was expecting. You do get you do get a nice kind of steel cut oatmeal. Okay. And then it's just milk, like it's nothing, like it's not a it's not a sour milk. It's just a it's like a two percent milk. Nice. So this would at one percent with as heavy as the milk comes through. I might add mm -hmm. just a little bit more. I might push this to two percent just to see if the if the oatmeal comes forward a little bit, because sometimes that's what you wind up having uh, having okay. happen. Um, this would be a really nice additive to like bakeries that needed a hint of milk, and then you're still gonna you're still gonna get like a little bit of oat in the background. So this okay. could this could work really well for for. Almost like Trace Leche's cakes would this would work really well for Trace Leche's cakes. Ooh, that would be good. Yeah. Uh yes, Vapors Anonymous, you certainly can. 
A lot of people use these concentrates for their coffee. But these are designed to be... Uh... Emily, no, this is Flavor Express. Flavor Express oatmeal and milk. There's absolutely nothing about it. Absolutely nothing about it on the internet. Vaporos Vape. Uh, Vaporos Vape says, long live the zesty era. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm ha I'm I'm really happy that Zesty agreed to come and hang out with me. Oh yeah, anytime. For as little, for as little or as long as you want to, man. I'm always just happy to. I'm always happy to have Zesty on anytime. Zesty's honestly one of my favorite people in the community. He's always been always been super cool to me. Came and hang out on DIY shows when I was like, who the fuck Zesty vapes? <laughs> what do you mean the dude came up? What do you mean that dude's got 10,000 subs? Hold on a second. What's going on around here? <laughs> so we're going to add we're going to add another percent here. Actually, I think I think you were at like 4,000 subs or something like that. Raven Raven's like, "Hey, you got to check out the Zesty Vapes guy." It's like, "Zesty Vapes?" Who the hell is that? Who the hell is Zesty Vapes, Uncle Raven? Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Do you who do you know who I'm is? I'm Fresh 03. Sure enough, Zesty popped up in the chat saying hi, hanging out with everybody, being super cool. Like, God damn it. I want to hate you. Like, I'm confused. I get super confused easy though, Zesty. I, I'm sure you've learned that at this point. Just a little. Confusing yeah, everybody's out. confusing everybody's gender like three quarters of the time. Alright. Emily, we're back on our bicycles. Black Cat, get back on the table. <laughs> like Emily, just imagine like like bicycle wheels with like hands doing like the shoulder the shoulder massage motion. Like that's it's keyed it's keyed into our pedaling, and that's what we're doing. It's just like just like this, Emily. Just like that. Don't be scared, Emily. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> Down, yeah. Emily, see now she's down. Now she's down for it. <laughs> yeah. See, I break everybody eventually. Zesty, eventually the icon becomes a, a a part of your repertoire. Just like yeah. And I th I think it puts you you know in closer touch with your. I think it, I think it puts you in closer touch with your audience. Like they, they, they get to look directly into your soul and find out what's in there, no matter how light or dark it is. All right, 2%. We've now upped this to 2%. We've upped our mix to 2% on the Flavor Express oatmeal, oatmeal and milk. You got dibs on the belly? Nice, Emily. Nice. Well, that's really good, actually. That's a really good red tea. Right, I thought it was gonna be a really, really earthy tea, but it's actually um, somewhat sweet. The matcha, the matcha or the acai tea, that one tends to be a little earthy. Um, the green tea has a little bit; it has a little bit of extra leafiness to it. But it's okay. it's they're all really, really excellent. Those are the, the flavor teas are my favorites. I got some ideas for these teas now. Ooh, now I'm excited. Ooh, right. Oh yeah, like we did an entire show on the teas, just because that's how good we thought they were. Like everybody I can grabbed, see why. A, yeah, everybody grabbed a different team. We just did a bunch of different mixes off of it. Mm. So two percent, the oatmeal does come through a bit more. The milk, the milk stayed kind of where it was. I'm glad it didn't get sour. Doctor Norm said the eye contact is really weird disturbing but that's why i'm here <laughs> that's right that's right a little bit of diy knowledge a whole lot of awkward moments that's what fresh from the kitchen brings you so everybody can see kind of how i stepped everything up just uh you know being slightly familiar with flavor express flavors if you can find a note on kind of the median over on like elr or atf that's definitely the best place to start I'm not sure how much steeping this is going to do because it's pretty, it's pretty, it's oatmeal and milk right now. 
Like it's not doing a whole. It's not doing a whole lot else. Like it's not sweet. It's just. If oatmeal you like, and milk. Yeah, if you like oatmeal and milk, it's just kind of oatmeal and milk. Do you think it could be uh, like a one shot? You think? Um, I'm not sure how this would react the higher we pushed it. Okay. But I mean, if you uh, you could certainly do that. If that's your, because uh, it's I don't know. It's definitely one of the better oatmeal flavors I've I've tried. Um, I think it's a little bit better than one on ones. But you you also have to want that dairy note. Yeah. And sometimes if you're making oatmeal, you don't want that. Sure. That's that's really nice. Another winner for Flavor Express, I think. It will be interesting. I, I I'm definitely gonna have to keep an eye on it over like the next week or so. So. I'm gonna type something up for it on uh, on ELR real quick, so that people have some sort of an idea what to do with it. <laughs> Flavor list. Is it gonna let me just add a flavor? Let's try this. Oatmeal and milk. Uh, is it going to make me put it in a recipe? It's going to make me put it in a recipe. I'll just put it down as a single flavor batch then. Uh, Max VG. Suggest a steep, steep time? I don't know. Can I put a question mark in there for a number of days? Oatmeal and milk. Uh, Two percent. Well, why are you doing that? I want to say I want to say something. I want to say sure. thank you to each and every one of you guys that actually watch any of my videos because I just noticed today that I hit uh, over one million views on my YouTube channel. That so, is that's amazing, Zesty. Congratulations, yeah. man. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you guys that just watched one of my videos. And if you subscribe, just thank you. I truly, truly do appreciate it. That's crazy. I suppose I should put the brand. Okay, as soon as that saves, I should have access to the flavor to go make a note about it. There we nice. go. There you go. You got a big compliment from Shindo. You're how he found oh. out about DIY. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at the monster you unleashed on the community. I hope you're happy with yourself, Zesty Vapes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> created a monster yeah you did that guy just all the just all the time just profanity and and, and filth leaking into the internet polluting uh, polluting the what used to be a pure DIY pool it's like someone it's never pure like someone like someone with diarrhea swimming in a pool zesty oh come on don't don't get that image in my head he just walk. He just he just swimming by. He just hit you in the side of the face. Oh no! Oh no! See, <laughs> you can't help but take it further, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Diesel. Just found me yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Welcome, welcome, my friend. So we've gone through a single flavor test. I hope you subscribe too. But I hit that little button. I'll take it. I'll take a sub. I'll take a sub. Come hanging out. Right, wise man? That liquid barn vanilla ice cream. So, now I should do a recipe with it. Um, 
Let's do... Well, is it saved yet? Is the flavor saved? It should be by now. It's still doing its circulating, circulating. Um, so let's do... Let's do something fairly simple here. Still not, it still doesn't acknowledge the flavor yet. Good times, thank you. <laughs> thank you, ELR. Nope, I wanna leave the page. Thanks, ELR. Yeah, until it saves, it won't let me do anything with it. Remix month. Is it another remix month? Since when? Did Wayne declare remix month, everybody? I wasn't aware that he did that. Let me go over to his channel. I think somebody's trolling. Uh, Jason Murray, uh, the Liquid Barn ice cream is richer. Uh, it's got more butter note. Um, it's loaded down with diacetyl. So if you're not looking for diacetyl, but it's it's way richer than TPA vanilla bean ice cream. Nice, Joey. Joey's going to be hanging out doing the Flavora teas. Nice. Uh, quick question. I want to add some TFA sour to water Malone. What percent should I use? Start it like a, start like a quarter and you can work your way up from there until you hit the right amount that you want. You don't want to go too hard in the paint with it. Otherwise, you'll, you ru you'll ruin your mix. But if you start down at a quarter and work your way up slow, Adam, you'll be good. But that will ruin your mix in a hurry if you get a, if you get a little ecstatic on what it does. <laughs> And it's still not saved. Wow, ELR is dragging its feet today. Flavor list, let's see if oatmeal and milk comes up. Still nothing. Well, I'm gonna mod this recipe. <laughs> Well, I can't do I can't do anything till it loads. I can think about what I want to do with it. What you got in mind? Um, I was thinking a little bit of brown sugar, maybe a little bit of apple. Mm, nice. I was thinking that might work might work really well, or I could try it as a as a complement to a flavor that I'm familiar with to see what it does to something like. Um, Something that needs milk, and a and a little bit of and a little bit of boost on its something that needs a little bit of boost on its on its uh, bakery, because I think that's I think that's primarily what this will be good for is as a supplement. Gotcha. Just because I. Uh, Now I'll do I'll do the I'll do a I'll do a simple recipe. Let's do the brown sugar. Let's do the TPA brown sugar. Yeah, TPA brown sugar. You can tell it's got some bad stuff in it. <laughs> All the good stuff. That's right, TPA brown sugar, and I think ideally for this, uh, the Perlium country apple would be ideal. Mm. Good choice. Uh, just kind of that cook, that slightly cooked apple flavor, I think mm -hmm. would work really, really well with this. So now it's a matter of figuring out where I put my country apple. I know it has a black cap on it, because that's what Nicotine River does to the Perlian flavors. So it makes it fairly easy to spot here. It's lemonade. a cranberry. That's liquid bar and blue rasp. Maybe I'm. I was got. I got excited. I was like, "Ooh, who's coming in?" <laughs> <laughs> which one from it? my side? Yeah, I was like, "Which, which, <laughs> which one is which one is SD? Which one is SD's? 
Zesty's family's coming in. I just blocked the door. No. 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 Get, out of, get, get out of here. Y'all coming in at my show. Ooh, wait a minute. What you got there? Wonder Flavors Apple Cider. That that could work. That, that could, could work. work. That way mm-hmm. I'm not that way I'm not struggling for forty five minutes trying to find a flavor. I will do a little bit more poking. <laughs> I thought I knew where I thought I knew where I'd stuck it, but uh, it's becoming apparent that I did not know where I, where I had put that particular flavor. Two more pulls. Okay, that's what the cap looks like. It's got to be down here in the fruit somewhere. Nope. Okay, so yeah, we'll do the apple cider. I think the apple cider will work. Wonder Flavors apple cider. Yeah, that's going to work. Uh, okay, perfect. It looks like it is saved, which means the nice. flavor the flavor should be available to me. Uh, apparently, the flavor has vanished, and the recipe <laughs> has vanished. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing with it. I'm doing it at two percent. Create recipe. Go ahead and max the VG out. We're gonna do add flavor here. We're gonna do the oatmeal and milk by FE. And we're gonna do that at 2%. We're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. TFA's brown sugar, we will do that at quarter percent. We don't need too much more than that. And we're going to do uh, Wonder Flavors apple cider. Apple cider by Wonder Flavors. If I remember correctly, that's a two, is that a two percenter? I better look real quick before I get crazy. Don't let me get crazy, Zesty. I was about to do it. You talk, you're telling me you tell that's, me to tell you not to get crazy. That's really? true. That's true. <laughs> like, like, really? Like 6% natural cherry? Well, I guess we're doing <laughs> this. <laughs> apple cider by Wonder Flavors. It's a nice... There you go. Apple cider by Wonder Flavors. Uh, I was right. It's about a 2 percenter, which means I should throw it in at about 1.5 to have it back off slightly so that I get mostly oatmeal okay and I think that will do I think that's a nice I think that's a nice mix right there nice and simple and this way I'm familiar with the apple cider I'm familiar with the brown sugar so I'll get to see what this flavor plays around like nice so all right all right, everybody. Let's get let's get our let's get our mixing gear on. <laughs> let's get properly attired here, Zesty. Sorry, I've been naked the ent- entire stream, everybody. Sorry, I know. I think that I think my hat is more popular than I am, quite frankly, Zesty. But that's okay. No, I'll take it. Never. I'll, I'll take it, Zesty. I know my. I know for sure my cat's more popular than I am. I know that for now a that, fact. Now that that may be true. <laughs> like she comes on a show and everybody's just like, Ivana. Even though she just hates everybody with with like un, it's undisguised hatred, Zesty. Like I try and tell them that she doesn't like them. <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah, she's caught in a she's caught in a sunbeam. Like she's not she's ah. not coming she's not coming on this show. I'll tell you that right now. So 2% of the Flavor Express. We're using it 2% because I liked liked where the oatmeal was at. Like I Mm -hmm. said, it was pretty straightforward. 
the milk was still there but it hadn't seemed to change much so what we're going to wind up with here in theory is a little bit of a brown sugar brown sugar apple oatmeal with a little with a with a bit of milk it's definitely i think this would work i think this oatmeal milk flavor would work really well to, to accent bakeries though that needed a that needed that dairy note mm. that's where that's where i think this is going to shine apple cider and we're using the apple cider for that kind of cooked apple almost fermented taste everybody um, just when I happened to run across this flavor in the stash I was like oh okay that should work that should work and that way I'm uh, one and a half percent that way I'm not digging around for an entire episode and I can get you I can get a, I can get a mix out there that hopefully turns out pretty well this should this should give us the illusion of that of that almost cooked apple in there. And I can always I can you can always sub the recipe out for uh, country apple if you're looking for it, everybody. Uh, that one went right there, and brown sugar, brown sugar, <laughs> lovely flavor, super strong. But it does some it does some magic. If it gives you that almost burnt sugar note. A mm -hmm. little bit of caramelization. I think that'll work well with the apple. And I said a quarter percent. I'm trying to go to a half. There we go. All right. Let's get a little bit of. So this recipe will come out to what, 3.75%. So you don't always have to go hard in the paint, everybody, and you can still wind up with something, something fairly, fairly tasty. Now, if you want something that's going to blow the back of your head off, this probably won't do it. Smells nice, it smells nice, but I've been fooled before, Zesty Vapes. I've been fooled before <laughs> on this. Uh, did you decide to do any other mixes, or are you just kind of... Uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, a red tea ice cream. I'm Ooh, just thinking yeah. about it in my head. Yeah, I got a, little bit, got a little bit of vanilla bean ice cream from Capella, a little bit of milk and honey from Flavora. Ooh, yes. Lovely choice. I uh, got a little bit of that red tea from Flavora, obviously. Yeah, I mean, what, are, what are you thinking, like one, one and a half percent? Maybe push it up got to it. two. I got it at one and a half right now. Okay. We're in the same ballpark. We're in the same ballpark. <laughs> but that's as far as I am right now. What is uh? What's a? Uh, where do our, what do our experts out in the panel think? What's up, Green Bay Vapor, and Chrono Vapes? What's up, Chrono? Haven't had troubles with blueberries or honey cake. Blue raz or honey cake too strong not strong enough they're averaging around one to three percent my mixes zippy wants some sugar there you go zippy <laughs> uh just increase the alpha pudding wants me to increase the tfa brown sugar to four percent and the burning rubble will blow your face off that's right nice adam scott howard Jimmy G was throwing deep bombs to Goodwin. Excellent. Marquise Goodwin's going to be, he's going to light some folks up this year, I think. Rob said, what happened to Zesty? The one I know who would use 7%, not 1.5%. <laughs> I'm not sure Rob's tasted the Flavora teas. <laughs> yeah, I think that Zesty gone as soon as I cut my hair. I, 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 I think he's gone now. Oh. Uh... Rin says you're a sugar cone. I'm not sure who she's directing that at, but I'm assuming it's me. I'm assuming Rin Vapes is is, is just like, hey, Fresh O3, you're a sugar cone. And then are you hoping that I'll be like, no, your mom's a sugar cone, Rin Vapes. <laughs> like, where, where are we going with this, Rin Vapes? For those that didn't know, Rin Vapes, I, lo I absolutely love Rin Vapes. Oh, it was to Emily? Oh, okay. Okay. 
on the puff pastry oh you gotta go croissant gotta go croissant maybe a little fluffy white cake to give you that sweet interior of the dough mm. beignets one-on-one -on -one is a that's pretty it's it's not a bad flavor dimlin but Rin caught, Rin caught Emily cheating on the Mix and Dixons, apparently. Exposed. Chrono is saying angel cake. I like the I like the angel cake idea too. I need to get these flavors. You don't want me to you don't want me to run my mouth about this anymore, is it Rin Vapes? <laughs> uh, uh Emily, no offense, but I have to deal with Rin far more often than I do you, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close my mouth about it all. Uh, let's get a little, uh, no, you know what, I'm gonna save it for when Zesty gets back. I'll save it for when the, when the Zestmeister gets here. So that we can eye contact you together, everybody. Oh, when I saw the profile, I already made up. I already made up a mix. Turned out pretty nice. I don't know if I'll submit it, but turned out pretty nice, though. Nobody else will do what I did to it. Ha <laughs> ha. Make sure to hashtag the Mixin' Vixens if I if I throw it out there. Solid, submit it for the celebrities. Uh, think about it. Wise man, I'm I'm thinking tonight's the night that we. I think tonight's the night that we break Zesty Vapes and he gets into the eye contact. Uh, he can totally hear us right now, and he's he's shaking his head no. But tonight might be the night. Yeah, Mark Senior, I already I already put something together. Fresh O three, the fifth wheel vixen. <laughs> I would totally, I would totally be on the mix and vixens with no shame at all, no shame at all. I'd be the sixth wheel, or seventh wheel. <laughs> Ooh, he didn't hear us, everybody. He didn't hear us. He had his headphones off. Wait, what? Don't worry, Zesty. Don't worry. Mix, mix, my friend. Mix. I can't find any of my flavors. What? Son of a gun, so I got to do eye contact by myself? Yes, you do. <laughs> I got to rewind this chat. I mean, this live stream, just to see what you said. <laughs> said tonight, I told I said, I told everybody tonight was the night we're going to break in. You were going to eye contact everybody. Aha, uh -huh, uh huh. You thought you were slick. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. I don't think, <laughs> you, I don't think you have a choice if we're going to, if we're going to do what we were talking about before. Oh yeah, you just got to no avoid that. You just got to be like, oh, yeah. a little bit of icon. So coming next week, a little bit of zesty contact, everybody. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I picked on Emily enough tonight. I need to. I need to pick on somebody else. I'm gonna pick on Wise Man Vapes. He sent me some cool messages earlier. So I'm gonna pick on Wise Man. Wise Man, get your BG bottle. Get your BG bottle together. We're heading to Zippy's house. We're into Zippy's house. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the shoulder we're gonna get the shoulder massage bicycles out, wise man. How tall are you, wise man? Do you are you gonna fit on Emily's bicycle? That's what I'd be worried about. That's what I'd be worried about is can you fit on Emily's bicycle? Because for those that aren't aware, but riding bicycles and getting the size right is a little uh it can be a little it can be a little bit of a chore. Getting your position right so that you're not overusing certain muscles. You can tell when you're overusing a muscle too. So, but we're over at Zippy's house. Zippy, Zippy's vaping on on twenty seven percent of Soho. Twenty seven percent Soho, another thirty percent meringue. 
It's a lovely mix. It's a lovely mix. That's right. Our bicycles are small, Wise Man. Wise Man may have left. He's like, I said nice things and now he's picking on me. But yes, Zippy. Ooh, I froze. Yeah, you did. I just noticed that. Daggum, why did I freeze? That's enough eye contact. That's what they're saying. Oh, man. It's never enough. Never enough. Let's let's turn the camera <laughs> back. Let's, let's stop the camera for a minute. My name just got me. Hey, guys. Son of a gun! What happened to my What happened to my camera? <laughs> How you doing? This live stream just got a lot better. Oh yeah! So <laughs> really, now you guys can see all the flavors. Go back up to the C nine thirty, and it froze again. It's It's okay. I, I'm still here. What's going on, guys? How you doing? All right, we're back on this one. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. <sighs> I just have to get way closer. Way closer <laughs> to get the eye contact properly. Hey, you guys can see part of my flavor collection. There's part of it. The other part's over here. You can see my microphone. I wonder what happened to my I wonder why my camera cut out like that. Because it happened to you earlier too, Zesty, and you had to leave and come back for it to get it, mm -hmm. get it working. Hmm. Alright, let's Ooh, that could be really nice. Somebody said screenshot. <laughs> that could this could be really nice. Close Pornhub in the background. This isn't the porn computer. <laughs> this is this is where I do my YouTube stuff. Like there's nothing else on here but like stuff for videos. Like I don't even put Facebook on this. I won't go near it. That's nice. Is it really? Yeah. The brown sugar's not the brown sugar's not getting super active yet. Mm. Interesting. Uh, how many flavors do I have? Uh, last time I counted, I was sitting at like 1,200, 1,200 flavors or so. I remember it was a, it was a joyous day when I checked Rin's flavor stash and I had passed her. <laughs> Trucker says, uh, can he get a wrench? Chuck and Trucker? Mm-hmm. He's a good dude. There you go. Why is someone getting crazy? I have no idea. This is fresh from the kitchen. People can get as crazy as they want. I don't think anybody's ever been timed out or banned on fresh from the kitchen. Because they come in and they're like, huh? <laughs> oh no, Ren, I was behind you for a while. I was, I was, I was, I was like, I was two or three hundred flavors behind you for a while. Then I finally Smite. passed you. Hmm? So my says are six eight. Jeez. Who's six eight? Mark Senior? Mark. Mm-hmm. That is way too tall. He's taller than me. Nope. Camera is that camera is not coming back. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what's going on with it. Uh which have... which one's it plugged into? Let me let me trace the cord. <clears throat> No, oh, see? There it is. <laughs> Here and I just need to trace the cord a little bit. All right, I'm back. There we go. We're back on the good camera. So I like that recipe. I want to... Uh, what should we call this, Esty? What should we call a apple... Kind of an apple cinnamony brown sugar oatmeal. I'm gonna give uh, it to the. Ch I'm gonna give it to the chat. That way we don't. Have to, that, that. that way we don't think at all. <laughs> that way we do not have to think at all, everybody. They'll come up with something. I know they will. Mm. 
Morning Comfort, pretty good right off the bat, Emily. Sinful Apple. My camera is jealous. <laughs> Sinful Apple. No, we can't do that. Yeah, I was thinking you can't do that one. <laughs> can't do that. No, I would get a I would get a message immediately from Dawn from Adori Liquid. Like she's just yeah. now. Get, she's probably just now getting back from California. She's like Sinful like Apple. You, you, you motherfucker. Just like that. <laughs> uh, creamy balls. Not bad. Zippy's five foot. Me, Zippy, and Emily will hang out. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need to venture into the land of giants. <laughs> Brown sugar and cider. Very good, Dimlin. There we Ooh, go. Nice. Oh, uh, very nice. Very nice. Dimlin knows the theme of the show. She knows she knows exactly the direction that this should be taking. Okay. Oatmeal, a steel cut oatmeal with apples and apple cinnamon and brown sugar. Splash of milk. Uh, so I'm going to save this privately because I know it'll save. I know that'll save fast. All right. So I saved it privately, real quick, everybody, just so that it, the flavor would be available. And then we will, because I know how ELR works. And then I'm going to open link in a new tab here. And I'm going to edit and make it public. Because that's that's pretty darn good off the shake. I think the brown sugar will fire up in a couple days. All right, now that I've got that, I can go and do something about the oatmeal and milk. Um, average mixing percent, 2%. I agree with that. I think that's a good place for it. Um, people will probably start using it at outrageous quantities. Outrageous. Uh, your notes, perfect. So I'm gonna, for the description here, I'm gonna, I'm trying not to get flowery with it. Uh, steel cut oatmeal with a splash of milk. At 1%, the milk is more prominent. I spelled prominent right the first time. I feel I feel no, like I've achieved some. I feel like I've achieved something today. One percent of the milk is more prominent. While oatmeal, you know, it is a back note at two percent. So at two percent, the oatmeal comes out stronger in a mix. So the flavor seems like it would be lovely to add a splash of milk to a bakery or add a subtle dairy note to bakeries. There we go. So that's all That's all that it takes to do a note. My preferred single flavor mix in this is 2% at least right now. And nice. I'll save. And, you can, and there you go, everybody. So now the oatmeal and milk is over on ELR. The oatmeal and milk is over on ELR. Here's the note for the flavor. What's Rin saying? Propaganda. Sounds like some BS. I have so, no idea what they're saying. I wasn't able to keep up. So there's the flavor. I think it's a 
My theory is that steel cut is less starchy. Yeah, it's not an overly starchy flavor. Um, the one-on-one -on -one oatmeal tends to be pretty heavy on the starch. All right, so we've done that. Okay. So... See if brown sugar and cider... Yeah. Shout out to Zesty Vapes. What's up, man? <laughs> brown sugar and cider, that's right. God is dang that, it. <laughs> is that what the ladies call you, Zesty Brown Sugar? That's for me to know and for you not to find out. That's 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 my own personal business. <laughs> that's all right. You've given me permission to turn your web camera on at some point, so we're gonna Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. If it if you see the little flash of the camera come on, just divert her attention. And ignore and do not turn your monitor on, no matter what else happens in that room. <laughs> do not turn that monitor on, Zesty. Just gonna put some duct tape or, right here, just. Or if it gets, or if it's getting super freaky, then you can turn the monitor on, and then, then you have some explaining to do. But hopefully things don't go sideways <laughs> for you. <laughs> just, just fresh, like. But, oh, like <laughs> oh, hey, it's fresh. <laughs> hey, fresh. <laughs> Cool, we doing some mixing tonight, homie? Let me get my shirt back on. <laughs> like, God damn it, or, right, fine. Or, or should I leave it off? Like, I'll be over <laughs> there in a second. Give me a minute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, perfect. I think we ran ourselves right up to the end of our hour. We did. Perfect. Oh, so, wow. Ze Zesty, any parting, any parting notes for these guys about single flavor testing? Uh, I think I got pretty much everything I needed. Uh, well, everything I had in my head, I pretty much got it out. Perfect. So, yeah, little life advice from, from me, everybody. Just single flavor, like I said, single flavor testing only tells you half the story. When you're first getting into DIY, it works really well to get yourself familiar with your flavors. If you're familiar with a bunch of flavors, you've been DIYing for a little bit, don't be scared just to throw something in a mix. Sub it out for something that you know how it works, and that way you can see how the subtleties play against other flavors that you're familiar with. That's what I've got for you, everybody. That's what I've got for you. So, everybody, be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate, be good for this community. Zesty, would you like to give them some parting words of wisdom? No? no. They, don't deserve it they don't deserve it this week? Oh, man, no. Zesty. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.